Crucial stage of their careers. Ewan McKenzie, the southpaw, getting on the attack straight away against Ishmael Davis, who's very happy to fight from either stance. Davis unbeaten in 11, McKenzie unbeaten in eight. And a very spiky press conference earlier this week here in Newcastle to set the scene for their meeting here tonight. Yeah, I think it could be a good fight, this Mike. A clash of styles. McKenzie likes to be on the front foot, as you can see, likes to force the pace, likes to let big shots go, but does carry his chin high. Davis is a, a sharp shooter, he switches, like you say, Mike. Good jab with either hand. Look at the left hand there, good work, looking strong, looking compact. He's just a little bit tall, isn't he, McKenzie? And that's where that's low, and Davis there just to get a little bit low, and that's where he's beat them to that soft four jab. Accuracy of Davis evident in the blood flowing from the nose already after a minute or so. Once you sit down and get low, you have a better, you have a better vision of the target here. That's what Davis can see. You can just see a little bit more than McKenzie at the minute. Good defensive work there from Davis. Nothing troubled a bit. You're right. He fires the shots up from the hip. Davis, and again, looking for the uppercut. Needs to get that chin down, but in some respects, I think getting the chin down may play into the favour of Davis because. Found the target with that uppercut. Great start then by Ishmael Davis as we move into the third round. Scheduled to go ten. Mackenzie hasn't been beyond six. Davis, the longest he's been is into the seventh round. This is good for Mackenzie. I mean, you know, he's down a bit two jabs out of the four, but that's the right idea. There's a little bit of rhythm to his work. Keep it nice and long. That's important. Make sure he steps up after he throws the shot. Make Davis have to walk him down. It's good work there for Mackenzie. That's his bet. Yeah, good work. Loose guard from Davis. Good work from Mackenzie. And this is what he promised at the press conference on Thursday. Mackenzie, he was ready to stand and trade. Well, ironically, he's doing better when he's boxing than he is trying to trade. When he tries to trade, that's when Davis looks like he might be setting him up for something. I think it would take a real effort for, for Mackenzie to stand there and trade with Davis, who I feel was the physical, physically stronger out of the two. It really sapped the energy of Mackenzie. But good work again, though, from Mackenzie, keeping it nice and long. Nice one, two. <laughs> Brought that, that back foot forward there, McKenzie, and got caught. Yeah, that's the first time as well we've seen him fire the uppercut after the body shot, Davis. Nice little left hand inside as well. Oh, big right hand. He's starting to up the tempo now, Davis. backing off and very little in that right hand jab. Another right hand. Big attack this now from Ishmael Davis. McKenzie forced to cover up and for the first time not firing back. Now he tries to. Davis rise to the counters. Big shot. He's got to keep that head up, McKenzie. He's looking at the floor. It's a good finish. Long way to go in the round here. Davis opening up. Biggest night of his career so far. McKenzie fires back. Ignored by Davis. Continues to punch away. Welcome respite for McKenzie. That's oh, a brilliant sustained attack from Davis. But back comes McKenzie. Showing real heart. He was on the brink. Caught with a big left hand there, though, McKenzie. And how much has that attack taken out of Davis? Look at the grit in his face there, McKenzie. That's incredible. Show him real hard. It's almost as if he said, I've taken your best now, come on. Let me show you what I've got. See the blood pouring down the nose of McKenzie. And from his mouth. And there's that cut beneath the left eye, but still. 
He plows forward. What a response this is from Ewan McKenzie after a torrid start to the round. Oh, what an uppercut there for McKenzie as well. You're right, mate. What a turnaround this is for McKenzie. Oh, as I said, that uppercut from Davis. Getting the head is so low, though, of McKenzie. Got to be careful. McK yeah, if Davis starts screwing that uppercut through the middle, he's in trouble, Davis. That left hand hurt, McKenzie. McKenzie is a beaten and a battered man, but still fighting through. Closing seconds of the round. For those who were looking forward to this as potentially the fight of the night, we're expecting just that kind of action that we've seen across those three minutes. McKenzie assuring the referee just before the bell that he's more than ready to continue and go straight on the front foot. Tremendous response from the local man after a heavy battering at the beginning of the previous round. It's as if he's just gone, I'm all in now, they're just going to go for it. This, this is, I, whatever I've got left, is, I'm just going to leave it in the ring. Both landing shots there. Yeah, you're right, he's just going for it now. Mackenzie, I do feel he feels he's taken the best shots. He was on the brink, he knows that. Absolutely nothing to lose now. Again, the blood flows down the face of Mackenzie. It can't be easy to breathe, but from somewhere, he's finding the energy and the determination to get back on the front foot. Yeah, I think you're right, Barry. I think he, the accuracy and the, and the better shot selection or... or shots and the singly the the shot. and the weight of the shots are coming from David but he's got to match this work rate see that left eye as well starting to close now Mike the left eye of McKenzie well what a brave performance from Ewan McKenzie his dad died from a blood clot on the brain when Ewan was just 10 said he suffered from panic attacks and a lack of confidence until he took up boxing. His dad never got to see him fight. How proud he would have been here tonight, no question about that. So proud, so proud. Lovely left hand there from Mackenzie. It's all bear in mind, he's, he's boxed the last four rounds, not be able to breathe out of his, he can breathe out of his nose. Looks uncomfortable, Mackenzie. Struggle for him to breathe in the corner as they were working on the nose and the eye. But again, he's forcing the pace, but Davis is responding now. I think he, he can feel the pace has dropped a little bit from McKenzie, but as I say that, he back he comes. Can he sustain this attack, Davis? Be interested to see how he responds to this, McKenzie. He's looking for that right hook, but this is good. He starts up the tempo. That was a nice left hand from Davis. Davis picking the shots well inside the final minute of the round. And that face of McKenzie, ever more dressed in that mask of blood. Weighty, weighty left hook there from Davis. McKenzie trying to hold for the first time. Again, I'm so surprised he's not throwing the uppercut, Davis. It is there. You can see he's crouched down. McKenzie, these are big shots landing now. He, like I say, he's putting his foot on the gas. I think I can see the towel being held by the corner, and then it comes over the head of McKenzie. A game, game performance. Looked to be one punch away from defeat earlier in the contest, but somehow responded and managed to come back. But in the end, this man was too accurate, too strong and too powerful. And that is simply the most impressive win of Ishmael Davis's career on a night when Ewan McKenzie came up short in terms of power and in terms of ability, but certainly not in terms of courage. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 2 minutes and 44 seconds of round number 8, declaring your winner by, T by TKO. He's still undefeated, the Black Panther, Ishmael Davis.